In this video, you will learn how to breathe correctly while swimming. Firstly, I will explain you the main principles of breathing. And then I will show you the best swimming drills to help your breathing technique. After this video, you won't have any problems with breathing anymore. Hello, welcome to the channel. In the first lesson, you learned the necessary elements in order to be relaxed in the water. In this video, you will learn to do another crucial element – how to breathe in the water. On land, you can breathe at any time you want. However, in the water, it's not possible. On land, you don't need to do any additional movements for breathing. But in water, you need to lift or to turn your head. For example, in freestyle, you can breathe at certain time by turning your head to the side. Luckily, it's not hard to learn. And you can learn to breathe correctly by practicing swimming drills that I'm going to show you. Inhaling is done only through your mouth. However, breathing out can be done through your mouth as well as through the nose. You can breathe out in any way that is more comfortable for you. I recommend you breathing out through your nose. It will help you to avoid getting water into your nose when jumping into the water, performing flip turn or being on the back under the water. Try to breathe in deeply so that your lungs get full of air. Normally, people don't breathe in so deep. This is why they don't use full capacity of their lungs. However, in swimming, it is necessary to take a large breath, that you can swim long distance without needing air. Please note, you don't just open your mouth to breathe in deeply. You must use the full capacity of your lungs by expanding your chest out. After taking air, you should hold your breath and swim for some time, not breathing out. At the moment when you feel you need to take a new breath, you need to start breathing out the air and then take the breath. It depends for each swimmer how much you can swim while holding your breath. For beginners, it can be from 1 to 2 seconds. It is really important for you to learn how to swim while holding the breath. Breathing out is done only in the water. When you lift or turn your head to take a breath, you don't have time to breathe out and then to breathe in. That's why we breathe out while keeping head in the water. Also, you need to breathe out with correct form for 1-2 seconds while swimming. For beginners, it's not suitable to breathe out too quickly. You need to try to breathe out in the same way as you don't land. For beginner swimmers, I recommend to blow out the air through the nose. First, you will learn essential skills for swimmers, so that water will not get into the nose. Secondly, you will breathe out for a longer time. Blowing through your mouth can be easier in the beginning of your learning process, but breathing out through the nose will ease your future swimming. By doing swimming drills, we are going to practice both ways to breathe out, through the mouth and the nose. Competitive swimmers breathe out through the mouth and the nose at the same time. Many beginner swimmers have the mistake when they don't breathe out in the water at all. While swimming, they lift up the head, first to breathe out and then to take a breath. For this, there is not enough time. For example, in freestyle breathing, a swimmer needs to turn their head and take the breath while performing arm recovery forwards. At this moment, there is just not enough time to breathe out and in, because arm recovery is quick. Please watch my freestyle swimming videos 
to learn when to turn head, to take a breath and to return head to starting position. While practicing swimming drills from this video, try to blow the air out as long as possible. The longer you breathe out, the better it is. This will ease your breathing out process while swimming. Find a place in shallow part of the pool. Remember to perform all the swimming drills step by step. I have made for you this series of exercises to make your learning process easy, comfortable and effective. First, you need to learn continuously to breathe the air out. Stand near the lane rope or the wall. Keep your head above the water surface and blow the air out on the water. Imagine that you are blowing on hot tea. Try to breathe the air out slowly. When air is blown, take a deep breath from your chest and start again. In the water, you need to blow the air out in the same way. If you do it too quickly, you will need to take a new breath. However, in freestyle swimming, you can take a breath at any time you want. There is required time for it. In the next drill, you'll continue standing near the wall and keep hands on it. Take a deep breath, put your head into the water and start slowly breathing air out, as you were doing in the previous exercise. You will get bubbles if you do it correctly. When air is finished, take a new breath and repeat the drill. Next, you'll do squats and you'll breathe in and out. Take a place near the wall and put your hands on it. Legs must be uncomfortable with. In this drill, you need to take a deep breath and squat down to be fully underwater. There, you must breathe the air out through your nose until it's finished. Then, rise up, take a breath and squat down again. While doing this drill, don't hurry and stay relaxed. In the first lesson, you have learned to relax your legs, so that you don't have support on the bottom. Next, you can perform the same exercise, but focus on correct breathing. Stand next to the wall on laying rope and relax your legs. Take a large breath and continuously breathe out the air. While doing this drill, try to relax and memorize your feelings. You'll need to use the same feelings while swimming. In the next lessons, I will teach you to perform correct kicks, but now you will start doing it for this drill. Try to perform kicks with straight legs, bending a little at the knees. Put your hands on the wall, lay in the water and perform kicks. Take a deep breath and breathe out slowly. In this drill, you can breathe out through the nose. This drill imitates kicking. So if you succeed to breathe correctly in this drill, you will surely perform it correctly while swimming. In swimming, when your head is upside down or underwater in horizontal position, you need to breathe the air out through the nose. Actually, this skill is often used in swimming, when you jump into the water when you perform a flip turn or while swimming underwater on the back. After practicing all of the previous exercises, it will be easy for you to learn this skill. Take a stable position and put a head onto the wall or on the stairs in the pool. First, close your nose with your hand. Put your head in horizontal position and dive into the water. Don't panic 
and try to get used to this position. Then start doing this exercise, not closing your nose. When the head is in the air, put your head in horizontal position and start breathing out through the nose when head is still in the air. Then slowly start diving into the water and continue blowing the air. By doing this, you'll be able to be under the water without getting water into your nose. When you feel that you are running out of air, slowly race up to the surface. When you practice enough of this drill, start to blow the air out only when your nose is going under the water. After some time, you'll be able to breathe the air out through your nose easily. I believe, if you regularly perform these exercises, you will not have any problems with breathing anymore. Your swimming will be comfortable and easy.